Stan Gibalisco here with a thought from the Nerd Cave. Uh, behind me there you see the computer on which I am writing a brand new book. I shall not disclose the title of that book at this time. I don't even have a contract yet for that. I guess there's some hang up at the publisher, but the editor says it's coming, so I'm starting early so I can get a little head start on that thing and not fall behind. So as a result of that, I've actually finished uh, a chapter uh, a good 10 days. Well, now it's only seven days now. A good seven days ahead of schedule. All I have to do is proofread that chapter one last time and it'll be ready. Uh, I have assigned a due date of June 30th to complete that chapter, and it's all done except for that proofreading, which will only take one day. So, I'm going to put off proofreading that thing until the 29th through the 30th of June. I have that much time, and I'm going to use it all. And I can do other things in the meanwhile, like make videos. <laughs> but here's the deal. I'm procrastinating on purpose. I am deliberately putting something off, and the reason why I'm doing that is a couple, couple of reasons why. Number one, I don't see any reason to, to rush around all the time when I don't have to, especially as I get older and live in a place like the Black Holes of South Dakota, United States of Advertising. But there's a more important and significant reason that should be of interest to writers. If you let a manuscript sit around for a while after the first draft is done, or the second draft, or the third draft, before you proofread it for the final draft, or even proofreading it for the second draft from the first. If you're going to proofread something and edit it for the next draft, and you have time to let it chill, let it chill! because you'll kind of forget all the little hang-ups, all the little ruts you got into. Uh, if you keep rushing around doing something, even on a computer as fast as that one back there, which is a pretty doggone powerful little thing. At least it is for, for con consumer standards, it sure is. It said it's the one I'm going to process this video on. <laughs> God help you. But seriously, if you're a writer and you and you procrastinate, sometimes it can actually be constructive. Go figure, who to thunk it, and all the other trite cliches that this writer can think up. In addition to Stan Gibalisco signing off from the Nerd Cave. Until next time, so long.